Hey Cancer, this is Tina with 85th House Vibrations and this just in. This is where we get all up in other folks' business about love and relationships. This reading will be good for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And if you would like to put together a more complete picture of what might be going on with you for the month of May, I would encourage you to look at your Moon or Rising sign video if you happen to know what that is, dear Cancer. This is a general reading, so it will not resonate with everybody. I am using the Llewellyn Classic Tarot that I have pretty much stuck with through these love readings lately. <clears throat> And I'm going to be using, for clarifiers should we need them, the Rider Weight Tarot. A little pocket size day. Love this day. So, glad you could tune in, Cancer. And <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. As I shuffle the clarifiers, I just wanted to talk a little bit. Ooh, it is 2.22 on my clock. Huh. Um, I apologize. I wanted to talk a little bit about what's going on in the sky, and I just want to talk about the placement of a few of the personal planets. The outer planets are going to be where they are, so I don't focus on those so much in uh, the readings, the monthly readings. So we've got Taurus currently, I'm sorry, Sun currently in the sign of Taurus. <clears throat> Moon is currently in your sign, Cancer. It's actually at the 26th degree of your sign. And that's an important degree. Any, um, any planet or house cusp that is at the 26th degree of a cardinal sign, that's called the critical degree. <clears throat> and as soon as I said that, I saw 222 on my counter, so. You know, maybe we are at a critical time in, at a point in this reading. Good stuff, Cancer. Bring it on. Um, what's next? Venus is in Aries. Uh, Venus was retrograde. We all remember that. And now it's direct. It dipped back into Pisces and now it has moved back into Aries. Mars is in Gemini. Saturn's retrograde in Aries. Jupiter is in Libra until October. So I just wanted to put that out there. Let's go ahead and get started. I want to see some love in these cards. You know, the last three videos have been a little dry for me. It's all these life lessons. It's like I just really kind of want to, you know, it's the sun is in Taurus. I want to see some grounded some stuff. Okay. <laughs> Cancer. First card is the Four of Wands. Thank you. Thank you. My goodness. Cancer, the Four of Wands says that it's all good. The Four of Wands is a card of marriage, actually. This is about solidifying relationships. This is about moving forward into happiness. You know, this is the wedding card all day. I apologize about the lighting. The sun has kind of snuck in. So that's good, Cancer. I'm really glad to see that because like I said... <laughs> I'm so sorry. These last few readings, it's like, ugh, can we bring some love? Anyway, this is about being passionate in new uh, uh, endeavors. And it doesn't have to be a new relationship. But like I said, this is new endeavors and moving forward. This is about solidifying uh, those endeavors. And I'm sorry, I'm rocking the table. But this is happiness. It's simple. You've worked for it. You've earned it now it's all coming together
the next card is the death card reversed um, the death card in the upright position talks about transformation and tremendous change now I just talked about solidifying things so in this case this is this is change that has been delayed or is not coming um, and maybe it's because things are good as they are there's no need to change at this point maybe there's no need for the transformation this card is the 13th major arcana one and three is four again this is this is a number four cancer if some of you have been losing sleep about the state of your relationships i'm thinking it, it's really all good maybe you should let it go and the changes maybe that you are expecting to come that you may be waiting for the shoe to drop so to speak um it's possible that that may not be necessary because there at this point doesn't seem to be some sort of big huge transformation that's coming um <clears throat> That things may kind of even out and pan out in a sense. You know, may, I kind of feel like if, if it ain't broke, don't fix it type of vibe with the death card reversed. I'm not necessarily seeing this as a bad thing. <clears throat> um... Cancer, if you were feeling as if you needed to change in order to bring yourself this sort of happiness, I kind of feel like the death card in reverse is saying, really, no, you don't. You're fine. You're perfect just the way you are. No need to change. Let's see what this third card is before I get myself caught up. In <clears throat> oh, exactly. You got the Ace of Wands, Cancer. The Ace of Wands talks about this is a gift from the heavens. This is about new passion. This is about new opportunity. This is about new love in even a, you know, in a physical sense. This is a phallic symbol. If you get my drift. There's no need for you to change who you are, to change the way you do things. It is all good. And 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 just this this newness this new experience this new passion this new fire this new thrill is going to continue to come up for you that don't change it it's all good it's all that's all good there's no need for any type of changes or transformation where you are concerned right now cancer if it ain't broke don't fix it i almost hate to pull the Okay, you've done the work. You're getting credit for being who you are. You're being you're getting credit for um, what it is you're doing. This is a willingness to cooperate, and in that cooperation, uh, you are making new opportunities for yourself. And that may be new opportunities for you to get some love in cancer. new opportunities for you to manifest this new passion in a relationship communicating your desires on a tangible practical level and that is creating these new journeys these new adventures this new passion this new opportunity these new opportunities for sex even Yeah, I, <laughs> it's something I want to say about this, but this is it's pretty much a family show, so especially with cancer. So I'm gonna keep it to myself. Anyway, it's all good, cancer. Don't change you. Um. Okay, so we got the six of cups reversed. If you're hanging on to any emotions, any thoughts, any old feelings from the past, let it go. This is Sun and Scorpio. Uh. Sun and Scorpio rules the Six of Cups. This is generally about reminiscing. This is possibly, you know, it's about going home and revisiting old friends and family. Um, <clears throat> this card could be about spending too much time in the past. 
And there's no need to because you have everything that you want right here in the present. You have everything that you need right here in the present. You have the ability to manifest what it is that you want right now. And these opportunities are going to come from the heavens for you. So, uh, no need to be stuck in a particular emotion that you may have been in because it's not going to bring you any benefit. Whatever it is you could be putting into old feelings, old emotions, it's, it's not going to give you what you need back. There's no time to spend that time there. Work on what's going on in the present. The changes that you've needed to make cancer, you've already made. And you're, <clears throat> I'm sorry, you're solid in who you are. And you just being you and doing you is bringing these new opportunities out of nowhere. Don't think too hard about it. Yeah, I'm definitely getting don't think too hard about it. I'm feeling also living in the moment is really, really coming up. Your happiness is in this moment. Live in it. Take every experience and live in it. I mean, just live it. There's no benefit in going back there. So I want to say if some of you cancers have been dealing with the sun and Scorpio person, um, maybe you shouldn't revisit that. There's a new opportunity that's coming for you. Don't hang on to what you once thought was happiness because there's something for those of you who may have been um, stuck in a bad relationship and maybe you felt boxed in by it because that was the way you knew happiness um this is for those of you who may have been dealing with sun and scorpio and maybe the relationship went south don't hang in what you once thought was happiness because there's a new opportunity coming and that's going to show you what happiness really is all the work that you've put in you're getting credit for um and and that's going to show up for you leave that sun and scorpio alone if you harp on that it's going to delay this process because the other thing that i can see is that uh hanging on to these memories hanging on to this feeling hanging on to this what once was um can keep you from actually manifesting this and manifesting these new things because you are hanging on to a particular state of belief, to a particular way of having been. The death card reverse talks about not letting go of old habits. And why do that when you've put so much work into something? Allow yourself to move forward. Yeah, allow yourself to move forward. If you allow yourself to move forward out of the past emotionally, uh, there's a great level of um, give and take between you and another person. And, and some of you might have options because this is the Three of Pentacles. That's three people. So some of you may have some choices and, and, and cancer that is because maybe an opportunity that you didn't see before shows up. And again, it doesn't change the fact that there's no need to change who you are. There's no need to change how uh, you're doing what you're doing in a tangible sense. It's working. There may be some need not to revisit this, but do you and keep doing you. It's lovely. And that's the way I see it, Cancer. So uh, for those of you who are returning, thank you so much. For those of you who are new, thank you so much for giving this video a chance. I want to thank all of you who have requested personal readings for me. I have really enjoyed doing them for you. Um, if I didn't mention at the top of the video, and my mind is bad, I'm sorry, my mind is bad. I'm going to blame it on Mercury Retrograde, but... Yeah, it's just a good excuse. My mind been bad. Um, if I didn't mention 
contest, a free giveaway, 15 minute reading. Once we get to 3,000 subscribers, I'm going to put up a video that shows how you can claim the prize. So I do think I already said that, but just in case I didn't. And thank you guys again, and I hope to talk to you next month. Mm -hmm.